What's up? Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net and we are inside of Windows 7. As you can tell, we are inside of the Add a Printer, which you can get to it by Control Panel, All Control Panel Items, and Device and Printers. And what we got is we got a situation when we're trying to connect to a network printer. And this is what happens. Let's go ahead and run through the process here. This is our network printer right here. Whenever we click on it, it gives us this error, no driver found for this printer. So you click OK and you try to locate the driver, which is, uh, that's the audio driver. So let's choose the printer driver. OK, and then you click on OK and it says Windows cannot connect to the printer. So you OK and then you cancel out of it. Well, how you resolve this issue of not being able to connect onto your network printer is you basically create a virtual printer. And what that does is that you add a printer, add a local printer, create a new port, go down to local port, click on next, and here you type in the server name or computer name, and then the name of the printer, which is Epson STY and that is your share name so whatever the share name is that's what you put right here and then you click on OK and then you come over here and you go down and you choose Epson which you can already see it's already chosen for me and then Epson Stylus Photo R320 is the driver that we want or the printer that we want then we click on next and then use the driver that is currently installed click on next because I've already installed it so that is how you add a network printer click on next and then it is ready to go and you can actually have this as a share as well and then you can print a test page which i've already done so that is our printer and that is how you set up a printer that is not recognized through the windows 7 network hope that y'all enjoyed this quick windows 7 tip have a good one wayne Barron with darkfix.net Rock and roll. Bye-bye.